What's good YouTube? My name's Elliot, but you may know me as the Immature Student. Today I'm rev uh, reviewing Lullaby by Leila Slamani. This is the British edition as translated by Sam Taylor. So let's jump straight in. Lullaby is billed as a thriller, but I think it also qualifies to be called a pretty decent example of accessible literary fiction. But more on that, that at the end, as it will involve a slight spoiler, so I'll give you a chance to click off the video first before we get to that. So, Lullaby, a thriller. This is not a spoiler because the first line is on the front cover. The first line is, the baby is dead. It took only a few seconds. Bah! That's a good first line, right? That brings you in straight away. Tells you what it's about. So it's a kind of book where the first chapter is what happens at the end, and you spend the rest of the book trying to figure out why and how that happened. The book's only 207 pages long, so it won't take you too long to get there. Uh, and I think it's a pretty enjoyable read. It's simple language, you won't need a dictionary next to you while you read it, and it's kind of quick. All the chapters are pretty short, between sort of like four and maybe seven pages long. So it fills you with that encouraging feeling of progress because every, you know, 10 minutes or so, you're like, oh, I've completed another chapter. I may as well read a bit more. So for me, it took me four days, um, but that's because I'm militant with my reading and I read exactly 50 pages every day or, well, 57 on the last day because who leaves seven pages at the end of the book, right? So 207 pages. Uh, so I think most people will read this in less than a week. And... If there's a book that's pretty good that you can read in less than a week, you may as well read it, right? Like, if it's pretty good, but it takes two months, maybe don't read it unless it's very good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think it's a pretty enjoyable read. Simple language, but not necessarily an overly simplistic book. There are some strange kind of ways things are said throughout this book, um, and I'm not sure if that's artistic choice uh, or if it's because it was translated directly from French. I don't know. I don't know French, so I can't read the original. And I don't know Sam Taylor or Leila Slamani, so I can't ask them. Uh, but, yeah, 207 pages long. It's pretty good. I mean, it follows the story of uh, a nanny who, obviously, as we know from the first line, kills the baby. Uh, and then you're trying to figure out why she's done it and what's kind of led her to this. Um, and it's, it's pretty kind of uh, dark in places, I guess, as you would imagine. Um, there are some tense sections. It's, it's a, it, you know, it's a good, easy, quick thriller read. Um, I don't really have that much more to say before I go into the spoiler. So I'll give my overview now. I'll say it's worth a read. I have never read a thriller before this, um, so I can't really say how it stacks up against other thrillers, but it was a good read, it was a quick read, I certainly don't regret it, and personally, for its literary merits, I think it's well worth a read, uh, so I'm going to give it four out of five pages. Now, here comes the spoiler, so please do click away if you don't want to know this, but basically I'm just going to read... Uh, the first line of the second chapter. So it's only four, yeah, it's page four. The first chapter's three pages, and the first chapter's what happens at the end of the book. So I don't really consider it a massive spoiler, but just in case. So I'm going to read you these first couple of lines, and then I'm going to explain why I've read them. No illegal immigrants, agreed? For a cleaning lady or a decorator, it doesn't bother me. Those people have to work after all. But to look after the little ones, it's too dangerous. I don't want someone who'd be afraid to call the police or go to the hospital if there was a problem. Apart from that, not too old, no veils, and no smokers. So why did I think it was important to read you that line? Well, for me, the first chapter is a marketing device, either brought up by the agent or the publisher, or by Layla herself to um, attempt to make the book more accessible and get publishers on board. But if you consider that the first chapter may have been added after the fact, and consider that line as the original opening of the book, it suddenly shifts 
from being a thriller to being a literary novel, a social commentary. The first line set that up perfectly. It's about racism. It's about being an immigrant in France. It's about class differences. This is prime real estate for literary fiction. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's very important. Obviously, England has a lot of class issues and a lot of race issues uh, in, you know, in amongst um, the public. But I think France, to a degree from what I've seen on the news, maybe has it even worse, you know. Um, and so for a novel to come out of France, to come out of a place where these conversations are happening, and to be billed as a straightforward thriller, when in fact it's probably a very detailed social commentary, is interesting. Um, it shows what, you know, booksellers want to sell versus what maybe people should want to read, I suppose. Um, but yeah, for me, I would take that stance when reading it. I wouldn't read it as a straightforward thriller, and I didn't read it as a straightforward thriller. There are countless mentions of the bourgeois in this throwbacks to you know Karl Marx um, socialist communist kind of situation with class differences so read it like that is my you know is, is my um, kind of opinion and if you do so maybe you'll give it four out of five pages as well if you read it as a straightforward thriller maybe it's a three out of five pages kind of thing but that's the video hope you liked it Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Peace and love, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.